Dear friends, Matthew in today's gospel writes down the words of Jesus before he ascended to the Father. Today in our reflection, we will focus on these words of Jesus. First, Jesus' ascension to power. Jesus' ascension to heaven is basically his ascension to power and authority. That is why he said, All authority in heaven on an earth has been given to me. St. Paul in, in the second reading illustrates this point a little more. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his, at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age but also in the age to come and he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church so st paul is trying to communicate that jesus ascended to authority and power that power which is superior to all the other types of powers in the world Here it has to be understood that this power is not something connected with the domination, ruling over, etc. Rather, it is the power that emerges from self-emptying love. There are two types of powers in the world. One is the type of power that is used to dominate, control, subjugate, manipulate, etc. This type of power is more gross in nature and mainly connected with the distraction. The second type of power is that which empowers, elevates, enables, ennobles and makes us willfully sacrifice ourselves for the sake of others. This power emerges from love. This type of power respects others' freedom and does not give room for any domineering tendencies. It is the second type of power to which Jesus ascended and through which Jesus Jesus rules over the whole world secondly jesus shares that power with us by his death resurrection and ascension jesus claimed back his own authority and power however he does not keep that authority and power with himself he shares that same power with us through the person of the holy spirit we see jesus telling his disciples you will be baptized with the holy spirit Being baptized with the Holy Spirit is nothing but being filled with the power of the Holy Spirit. This power is filtered and exercised as we have seen above not through domination but through love, a better understanding of reality, wisdom, etc. St. Paul in the second reading speaks of a spirit of wisdom and revelation. A really powerful person is not the one who suppresses and dominates others but the one who has got a better grasp of reality one who understands life and its problems from right angle this type of power that is wisdom and truth is offered by the holy spirit we are all familiar with the birbal stories the basic thread in most of the stories is that his opponents tried to put him into shame and humiliation but birbal by using his wisdom and humor would turn everything in his favor and prove that he is more powerful than his enemies the same thing we see in the lives of the apostles after being baptized by the holy spirit of wisdom they turned everything in their favor the sanherin tried 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 all its means to control and contain the apostles and their ministry however ultimately we know that the powerful sanhedrin was left powerless and the ordinary and uneducated disciples proved to be powerful and invincible jesus assurance that he would be with us till the end of the world is once again the deliberate affirmation of sharing his presence and power with us In Jesus case his presence and power are not two different things. Thirdly, Jesus gives us a mandate. Besides giving us his power, besides sharing his own power with us, 
Jesus also tells us to teach people to obey everything that he has commanded us. It is nothing but his mandate to announce his good news of love to all. In fact, the very reason why Jesus shares with us his power is that we should do his mission. We are called to do his mission with his own power. We see Jesus giving power and authority to his disciples whenever he sent them to proclaim the gospel. Luke chapter 10 verses 1 and 19, Gospel of Matthew chapter 10 verse 1, Gospel of Mark chapter 16 verses from 15 to 18. So, mission and the power both go hand in hand. Proclaiming the gospel without power and authority does not much touch the hearts of others. having power and authority without proclaiming the proclaiming the gospel is useless so we need to combine both so that our ministry of evangelization is really powerful dear friends it is said that leonardo da vinci the famous painter used to draw a picture with that most care and dedication suddenly off off we through he would stop painting and ask one of his disciples to complete it though the student would resist that he was worthless and unfit to pursue the work of the great legend he would encourage the novice similarly jesus did his part of announcing the good news with the total dedication and devotion through his words and life now he invites us to continue it though we are worthless still he empowers us with his authority and power let us conclude this reflection with a prayer said by the orthodox church on this day of ascension o christ you ascended to in glory on the mount of olives in the presence of your disciples o you who penetrated all things with your divinity You were enthroned at the right hand of your father and sent down upon your disciples the Holy Spirit who enlightens, strengthens and saves our souls. Amen. Dear friends,